that women were victimized, that they were terrorized, that they weren't even paid properly when they worked for him and made music with him. So there's the federal criminal case. That's why he's in prison right now. And I think he's going to be in prison for the rest of his life. I'll, I'll go to the, to the, and, and you guys don't have to believe us because here at the Double Dutch, we always show up with receipts. This is the, the, this is the lawyer of the person who he was trying to interfere with. Fair use. So thank you for having me. I'm very proud to represent Dawn Richard. She is a singer. She's currently on tour. She's a very successful recording artist with millions of followers on social media. And she worked with Diddy uh, since 2004 on the TV show Making the Band in the band called Dan Diddy Kane and in the band called Diddy Dirty Money. And she alleges a horrifying series of events of sexual harassment, sexual assault, sex trafficking, false imprisonment, essentially that she was threatened. She witnessed incidents of abuse against Cassie Ventura and others. And she has come forward and we, I'm very proud to represent her. We filed her civil case uh, over a month ago before the federal criminal case. The federal criminal case came after ours, but it was strikingly similar. Many of the same allegations that women were victimized, that they were terrorized, that they weren't even paid properly when they worked for him and made music with him. So there's the federal criminal case. That's why he's in prison right now. And I think he's going to be in prison for the rest of his life. And then there's a large number of civil cases that have been filed. Those are private lawsuits for money damages. There's my case and there's a number of other cases with similar allegations, some involving underage people as well as adults who were victimized by him. In our case and in the federal criminal case, we're not just against Sean Combs, but against a large number of people who are accused of being his enablers because we know from history, people like Jeffrey Epstein, I represented 11 of his victims. These guys don't just do this by themselves. They have to have a large number of people who are complicit in order to have an operation this big and to have this many accusers. Mm. And at least so he is currently behind bars after being denied bail in that in that early uh, pre-trial last month. Can you explain why such a high profile person managed to have the judge deny his bail? Yes, and that is very unusual. And here's why, and it has to do with my case, because the prosecutors say he was tampering with witnesses before he was sent to jail. In my case, there's a woman, only one, who came out publicly after we filed our complaint and basically attacked my client and said she was a liar. Well, it turns out, the prosecutors say, that there were over 100 phone calls, oh, phone messages. I was wrong. I was, I cannot count. I was wrong. I was wrong, guys. I said 45 is 100. Over. Over 100. 100. Yo, this, this, this man is, this is crazy, yo. This is crazy. Over 100 calls. That's, that's, at, at that point, it's become stalking. Let's continue. You want to say something, by the way? No, 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 no. That's, that was it. Yeah. Between Sean Combs and this witness right after the filing of our complaint until a couple of days later when she came out with her statements calling my client a liar and then those calls stopped. So the implication is very clear that he was reaching out to her. I don't know if he offered her something or if he scared her or what happened, uh, but that he's tampering with witnesses. And the judge essentially said he needs to be behind bars because we can't have witnesses tampered with. Yeah, so... That's true. Hey, it's not that hard, guys. To, to, you cannot compare his situation with any other. This guy called someone else to put her under pressure so she could corroborate his story instead of the other person's story. Guess what? What he'll do if he gets bail, and this is the this is what the prosecutor is using to keep him in jail. And like you said, in addition, maybe he has other a backup somewhere of all the videos where which, which he can use to put people under pressure. It doesn't matter how many millions he gives away for the bill. He can give his he can he can give up 
his his passport because he, he doesn't have to go anywhere. The only thing he needs is a phone. A non-trackable phone that which he can use to contact whoever he needs to. Yeah. RJ. Yeah, it's uh he did he did this to himself. Yeah. He did this to himself. And usually people who have exercise control all their lives over people who have people who have misuse their power and position in order to manipulate others into doing their bidding once they start losing that power once they start losing that influence a lot of them can deal with it so what you then see is that they start panicking Probably in the past, Diddy could just call and within half a minute get someone fired. Probably. And now they're not even picking up his phone. Because no one wants to be caught in a Rico or a Frico. A Frico. <laughs> yeah. No one wants to be caught up in a freako right now. And so, yeah. As they're seeing him, the tyrant, apparently. Because that's how people talk about him, right? No one used the word tyrant, I believe. But that's <coughs> the way he, people are talking about him. So, once the tyrant... Once they see the tyrant losing its power, uh, his power and oh. influence. They'll jump on his back. We've seen we've seen that happening like in he Syria. There's probably what? No, I said that's what we saw in Syria. When the dictator yeah. started losing powers, the people were, were starting to jump literally on his back. Yeah. Shouldn't laugh, man. <laughs> Yeah. It's a human reaction to what I usually say. Yeah, yeah. Ah, but they started jumping. So this is the same thing. People th start to, 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 everyone wants five minutes. Everyone yeah. wants five minutes with him. Not that type of side five minutes, by the way. I'm talking about yeah. knuckle up. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, this is, this is the thing. And I think it's always, I, I'm some, sometimes I'm very surprised at main at cer certain people in uh, let's call it for lack of better word mainstream that sit there and and act like they don't know what the reason is why he's not getting bail act like it's a race thing what well, clearly he's putting pressure on black females yeah and you can say, yeah, uh, uh, Harvey got Bill. Well, Harvey didn't got himself in this situation. <laughs> I don't want to say this, but 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 OJ couldn't put anyone under pressure. Everyone was was wiped out. So who's going? He's going to put under pressure. So you got to put context is everything. You can sit there and say, yeah, he has a family. And guess what? Everyone accusing him also has family. Can sit there and say yes, family, yes, kids. As one basketball player once said, according to the meme, F them kids. Anyway. Yeah, I um, um I think that the, the what did you say? Anything else? Yeah, yeah, no, well, the only thing I would say is I think that sometimes people are so caught up into telling, saying what they feel like they have to say that they don't Maybe look at the right. things objectively. So. Maybe you're right. Hey, That's why you all got the best to, 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 well, the victims. 
And need, daddy will need luck. Because no, luck is what you'll need to get out of this one. Guys, don't forget to subscribe. At the Double Talk Show, we always talk about all these topics as objective as possible. If someone is doing crazy stuff, we say it. If not, we also say it. Anyway, drop your comments down below. And the best comment will be featured in one of our future videos. And who knows, maybe it could be you. RJ. Yeah, guys. Uh, it could be you. Could also not be you. So if you want to increase that chance, please make sure that the comment is hot. Uh, so it gets mentioned in a future video. Uh, but of course, uh, if anything, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the, hit the bell icons so you stay up to date when we drop new stories uh, in which we discuss trending topics and try to explore uncommon lessons from commonplace situations. So thanks for watching, and let's keep the conversation going. In